you know what? I, I want to play the landed system. I want to try out some of the ideas or some of the trappy lines that I covered in my yesterday's video, which has popped up in the cut above. One of my best videos on YouTube, if not my best yet. So this is what I do, you guys. After making a tutorial video on a particular gambit, I put the ideas to test on the following day just to ensure that I give you much confidence in the things that I teach you. So let me challenge a random player on leeches and see how this is going to work out. Let's go. I pray that I don't disappoint because <laughs> this sometimes happens to me when I'm not in the mood. Oh, I'm playing against a 2400. Okay, let me go d4. So the landed system planning to play bishop f4. So d5 by black. I think let me go bishop f4. Code the accelerated landed system, I guess. Oh, there we see an early c5 by black. I think I covered this move in my yesterday's video, which was full of traps. So point to c5. What do we do? We go pawn to e3, I guess. Yeah, it's normal to forget. But this is not the only thing that I do in life. So pawn to e3, knight to f3 is coming next. Okay, so black has played knight c6. The plan is to go knight bd2. But first I should play knight f3. Knight f3 stops pawn to e5 by black in some moves. My plan is to go knight c3 and knight b5. So I covered this line in my yesterday's video, you guys. The plan is to go knight b5. Here, black should play pawn to s6 just to stop knight b5. Oh, there we see knight to f6, which is a blunder. And I talked about this in my yesterday's video. So it's high time I go knight b5, I think. Yeah, knight f6 is a blunder. That's why it is important to watch Casper's videos. The plan is to go knight c7 next, supported by my dark squared bishop. So knight b5, knight c7 next. That'll be check and there is no way for black to stop this daily attack which is coming. Black cannot stop this attack with his elbow. He just needs to keep on staring at my moves with his eyeballs. So the best he can do maybe is to play pawn to e5, donating a pawn after which I'm going to take with my king's knight on f3. So what is he going to do here? So point to e5, knight takes e5. That's the best he can do. Or maybe just resigning. Oh, queen f5 check. I didn't think of this, but I have point to c3 blocking the check because my knight is protected by my left squared bishop. Point to e5 by black. I think I should just take with my knight, my f knight. And black should take back with his knight as well. After which, I'm going to take back with my dark squared bishop. So you can see how solid my defense is. Look at my pawn chain on the queen side. So the pawn on c3 is doing a great job of blocking the check. And yeah, the best that black can do in this position is just to take my knight. I covered this line. I'm not just marketing my videos, you guys. On my channel i'm also helping you if you think about it so king e7 i was thinking of knight takes e5 by black and then bishop takes on e5 and then bishop c7 attacking black screen on a5 besides i have pawn to a4 in some lines but hey black played king e7 what if i take on c6 let's say knight takes c6 so black is going to take back with his b pawn, attacking my knight. So I think this is not a good move. So let me just take d takes c5. I think, yeah, I think d takes c5 makes a lot of sense here before taking the knight on c6. Let's see what black is going to do. I have knight d6. Oh, I don't have that because my pawn on c4 will be hanging. Maybe I should play pawn to b4 next. So you can see how I'm making these calculations, you guys, in real time. This is how you're supposed to be playing chess. After making a move, start thinking. Don't just wait for your opponent to do something. I mean, that's when you start thinking. You calculate when your opponent is thinking. So I guess the move is knight takes c6. After which, I should play bishop c7, attacking black's queen on a5. 
let's see what black is going to do okay so there we see bishop e6 i think let me take on c6 now with my knight let's check okay b takes c6 attacking my knight but i can still go bishop c7 i think so here i'm attacking black square on a5 and he can't even take my knight because it is defended by my light squared bishop so maybe he should play queen a6 that's the only move yep so queen a6 but i have i have knight d6 that's discovery on the queen by my light squared bishop and seems like this queen is trapped <laughs> doesn't have any safe squares to go to look at all my pieces you guys so the queen can't go to c8 my knight is targeting all these highlighted squares including the c8 square so it is safe to say that black queen is dead okay so queen c8 let me take the queen let's check rook takes okay now i think i should go oh my bishop is under attack so i need to save it somehow can i go bishop f4 yeah bishop f4 is cool i'm also thinking of okay so knight e4 by black f3 i think attacking black's knight i guess the only sensible move is knight takes c4 after which i'm gonna play queen d4 yeah queen d4 so my opponent's time is very low why is he not resigning anyways queen takes a7 so the knight is pinned to the king g6 by black what am i going to play here bishop i think let me just develop the bishop with tempo attacking the rook can i give him a check or maybe bishop b7 let me just win all his pawns two seconds why is he not resigning bishop g7 anyways bishop takes c6 rook okay let me just simplify the game take the knight and why is my opponent not resigning i want to go and watch some movies while eating popcorns so what am i going to do here maybe castle long yeah if i castle long my rook will be attacking the yeah attacking the pawn on d5 i feel bad for my opponent so rook a8 attacking my queen so queen c5 check three seconds five seconds okay so king e6 i think this is mate in two queen takes d5 check and bishop g5 checkmate okay so this is the end of the story you guys i covered this line in my yesterday's video another evidence that these tricks do work even in real life i don't just talk for nothing anyways let me just analyze this game you guys just to identify where my opponent went wrong so this was the opening after point to e6 i chose to play knight c3 the idea was to go knight b5 the best that my opponent should have done here was to play point to a6 stopping my knight b5 idea but i was going to develop my bishop last squad bishop and if c4 i was going to put it on e2 so provoking black to make a weakness first cause black shouldn't put his pawn on c4 under normal circumstances the c pawn must be traded with the d pawn that's according to theory but anyways knight to f6 after knight to f6 i was going to play something like knight e5 here when you put your knight on the center you take away many squares that were supposed to be occupied by your opponent's pieces so always learn to put your knights on the center you guys that's very important so if bishop d6 i was going to take the knight and just simplify the game i talked about the principle of kiss keep it so simple not kissing a human being so after this point to a4 is the main idea you guys and in most cases i don't even think of castling short the move is pawn to g4 i start expanding on the king side as early as i can next pawn to g5 and h4 and the best place to put my king is probably king d2 the king will be very safe on d2 and after something like queen b4 by black attacking my b2 pawn the best i can do is just to play rook b1 defending my pawn and yes black can play knight e4 double attacking my knight on c3 which is pinned to the king but here i can just play a3 attacking the queen and black must play queen a5 he doesn't have time to take on c3 
And by the way, I can just go for this knight, attacking the knight. If knight takes on c3, I don't have to take, okay? I can pin that knight to the queen and maybe take with my queen. I don't know, just something to think about. And after rook b8, something like that, I can just castle short. Queen takes c3 can wait. I just need to start expanding on the king side. Just go for it. And yeah, I guess this is winning for white. Unless black is using stockfish. So this is all for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And always remember to analyze your games once you finish playing. And remember to give this video a thumbs up if at all you enjoyed watching this video. And if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? I mean, we need to grow this community together. And that's how you encourage me to keep on making more wonderful videos just like this one. So I do recommend that you watch my yesterday's video. I have linked it in the description down below. And also in the comment section so do the needful it's one of my best videos on youtube entitled the 10 best london system traps rarely seen on youtube all right thank you so much you guys for watching this video until next time bye bye